Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the Critic who's a Cynic and today we're going to be talking about a good article for once, which is great. Uh, this is an article that I just, I just came across today and I was reading it and I was just thinking to myself, yes, why aren't people like this guy, Brian Wang, why <laughs> why, why isn't he getting into the big, pub, big publications? Why isn't he getting a lot of traction? So that's why I wanted to make a video. I know my videos don't get a whole lot of traction. I know that I'm still very, very small in comparison to so many other channels, but if I can just give him some attention, give his, give his website some love, and especially give this article some love, I just, you know, it's, it's the least very least I can do with a very small platform that I have but here he has the article saying making great Star Wars movies and he really just nails it in every single part of this article and so I just want to get through this today because it's, it's nice to have you know a positive article that we can all agree with for once especially when they decide to you know take a day off from you know spewing all the nonsense that they like to so anyway this is Brian Wang of nextbigfuture.com so I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description below so please check it out just to give him some love just to give him some likes tweet it out, like it, because we need people like this. We need writers like this to get the attention and love that they, that they deserve, because it doesn't matter if you have a different opinion than me. Again, I have no problem with that. The difference is that at least base yourself in reality, at least live in the moment, at least live in the real world. I mean, so many of these writers like Scott Mendelson, like Forbes and all these other, you know, just nonsense, nonsense groups online, they just don't base anything in reality. It's nice to finally have one and it's sad that it's on a smaller site so I just wanted to give that this person attention. So he says, Star Wars needs to be saved. Damn right it does. Fans love Star Wars A New Hope and from The Empire Strikes Back and The Clone Wars and Rebels Animation Series, Return of the Jedi was disappointing with Ewoks but it still had a reasonable closure for Luke, Vader, and the Emperor. I absolutely agree. Again, I think most people would probably put Return of the Jedi as like the bottom of the OT but at the same time, they still really like it. I know I still really like it as well. Was it as strong as Empire Strikes Back or even A New Hope? No, but it was still a really good film. So absolutely on spot, you know, on point so far. There were some good things to love about the prequels. Yeah, I will agree with that. Again, I, I'm not a huge fan of the prequels, but there were definitely some positive aspect, aspects to it. The lightsaber and spaceship battles and the prequels were solid. There was an addition of Mace Windu and some other Jedi, uh, and some other Master Jedi. Uh, the clone troopers were interesting as well. So again, all of these things are spot on right now. So I totally agree with everything that's being said, which again, which is why I picked it because I wanted to actually talk about an article that I agree with for once because it's nice to get the positive out. It's nice to have somebody that we can actually you know support and then it's not just spewing nonsense all these things are, i feel are thoughts that so many in the fan base have and sometimes we feel like there's just not a really you know a voice for us that's why so many youtube channels are doing very well the people who have been very critical of the last jedi of ryan johnson of kathleen kennedy of the direction they've been going in is because all of us feel this way so it's great to finally have someone who's just put it down into writing in this way so i just wanted to give a huge shout out to this person and continue reading of course the force awakens has um the Force Awakens was flawed, but there was a setup that could have been interesting. Absolutely. Again, I still to this day will say I will watch The Force Awakens because I still think it's a decent film. It's a rehash of A New Hope, but it does set up a lot of really interesting things. The worst thing that it does is kill off Han Solo, but at the end of the day, if it was going to lead to something really, really cool and something that we could all get behind, then I think it probably would have paid off in the long run, especially since Harrison Ford did not want to continue to be Han Solo, so at least they could have made that work, but instead we got The Last Jedi and, you know, we have you know, what we have today. Uh, he says, my first review was in in general positive because my standards for what was acceptable for Star Wars had included Return of the Jedi with Ewoks, Jar Jar Binks, and having half of movies wasted. I was trying to look at the glass half full. Again, I think, I think all of us felt that way too because Again, a lot of people did not like the prequels. I know there are some people who defend it, but a lot of people did not like them. I am definitely one of those people. But at the same time, it was because of that. It was because of that lower expectation that the prequels had given that I had such a high expectation for The Force Awakens and also was is what probably led to me having a most, mostly positive review of that film. And I think a lot of people had a positive review of The Force Awakens. Again, The Force Awakens in isolation is not a terrible film. It doesn't do, you know, it, it, narratively, it's, it's, it's fine. Again, it's building up to something. But then the, <laughs> with The Last Jedi, I, though that all goes to hell that all goes away because everything that was built up was torn down and now the narrative is just so schizophrenic someone said someone used that word on twitter and i just love using because it, it really is the new trilogy is just schizophrenic in what it's trying to do so how to make star wars how to make great star wars films he says first recognize and truly understand the real reasons why certain movies are hated the video top 10 reasons why the last jedi made me angry i think provides the best explanation of the anger and betrayal that many fans feel so if you actually go to the site you can site you can check out those videos for yourself but these are the main points from the videos original characters having their characters altered and having them go out like punks just like han solo being a deadbeat dad that was just stupid uh not having satisfying payoffs and epicness definitely making the universe galaxy smaller yeah it really does kind of just minimize it 
and in so many different ways. Not putting the care to address plot details and teasers. Yep. I mean, The Last Jedi just totally ruined that. I mean, everything that was set up that was interesting about The Force Awakens that made people want to see The Last Jedi were just done away with, ignored, and sometimes just mocked the fans who were interested in them, had their own fan theories, and just said, oh, you know what? We're just going to not do that anything. We're just, you know, instead of doing something cooler, we're just not going to do anything with those plot points because, you know what? Why not? We're going to subvert your expectations and make you angry because that's what you do. That's what you do to a fan base. You try and make them angry because, yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see. And he also says, if, you, um, if you're going to surprise and tries to set up then having something better to replace. And of course, again, I'm not just going to be totally gushing over this article. There are some, you know, obviously, you know, just from reading this already, you can tell that there's some grammar situations here. So again, I, I make, you know, I do point that out when I read other articles. So I'm not going to stop doing that here. But still, the content is great. Like the content of those sites is bad, but then also they're not very good with their grammar. This site, obviously, like any writer is going to have, especially a smaller site that's not going to have, you know, a high paid editor who's not going to have someone who's just like reading every single, you know, every single word that's being uh, posted here is still significantly better in its content thus far. And also at the same time is not totally off from what the grammar is on some of those bigger sites. So kudos to this site and especially to uh, the writer of this article for sure. Writing, writing, writing. Absolutely. Writing is a huge part of this. So he says, Marvel had a plan for over 10 years of movies. They continue to plan out many years in advance for multi-movie and multi-year phases. Marvel has large teams of writers to work and perfect plots and scripts. Marvel leverages decades of content for com from comics and media. Yes. I mean, oh my goodness. There is so much content that Star Wars can use. I mean, we had, since the 70s, we've had comic books written. We've had books and novels written. There is so much in the extended universe. There's so much in Legends. There's so much even in the video games themselves. We have so much content to be taken from and all of it it seems it's just been totally ignored. So we have the content there. We just don't have the person putting it all together. And guess who the person at top is? Kathleen Kennedy, who has no idea what she's doing. Is she a good executive? Maybe. Maybe she knows what she's doing money-wise, but she does not know what to do creatively because The Last Jedi is Proof positive of that, and also, too, it was a huge financial mistake as well. Because also, the reason why I can really criticize her as an executive as well is because look at Solo. She greenlit decisions that are going to lead that film to losing $200 million plus million at the box office. So, we need someone better at the top. Again, Marvel has Kevin Feige. He has just remained consistent. He has made sure every project has been good. I mean, even the weak Marvel films are still good by compar you know, in comparison to so many other films. That's what, you know, that's what Star Wars needs because there is all, the, all we have all the content that we could possibly need to build an amazing universe within Star Wars. They're just not doing it because they don't have someone who loves Star Wars and knows Star Wars at the top. That's what needs to happen first goes on. Star Wars also has decades of content in books and comments. They junk those as non-canon, but the ideas and stories can be used for development and improvement of the movies. Absolutely. And also, you can just, if you can easily make them non-canon, canon, you can easily just as much make them canon in the, <laughs> in the process as well. Again, if you could do it that quickly the other way, you can do it the other way too. So Star Wars needs to have writing teams. They need to have retreats to work on plotting and planning and taking what works and what is loved and expanding. Absolutely. And I think the best point from this is the fact that Marvel has planned things out years in advance. Kathleen Kennedy seems to just be going with, you know, from year to year and just saying, oh, we'll just do this this time. Oh, we'll try this this time. And with Star Wars, and you're trying, you know, it, not only is it Star Wars, but you're also trying to build a universe. And you can't do that by just changing the narrative every movie. If every movie has a different director, if every movie has a different narrative and it's supposed to be a part of the same story, that just does not work. So. Take a page out of Marvel's playbook. They've been doing it for 10 years. They've made 20 films in 10 years. Not a single one of them has lost money. Learn from it, especially now that you're, especially now that Star Wars is indeed a part of the Disney universe and Marvel is as well. I mean, I'm, I don't understand why they can't do that. He continues. He says, A galaxy with a rich history and expanding future of Jedi, Sith, rogues, bounty hunters, fighter pilots, many worlds. There should be an expansion of broad tapestry of great heroes, great villains, arranged from wretched hives of scum and villainy to pearls of the galaxy like Coruscant. Do not make things tiny like 20, 30 people going against trillions. Also, do not trash and invalidate things from a galaxy-wide rebellion that spent three original movies winning back to nothing. Yeah, exactly. Again, there are so many things that they could do, but they're just not doing them. And then the things that they are doing just don't make any sense whatsoever. And then lastly, he says, uh, fixing The Last Jedi. There are many videos talking about how to fix The Last Jedi. There's supposedly money to ra uh, money raised for a remake of The Last Jedi. And not only do we have that, we also have Ivan Ortega, who I've talked about several times on this channel. He is re-editing The Last Jedi. So he's not making a new version. He is just taking the original version, re-editing it, and he's doing a lot of really cool, cool things. So go check out his channel, Ivan Ortega. He's doing some really awesome things over there. Problems were already in The Force Awakens and the prequels before them. So again, The Last Jedi kind of just 
was the last straw. I mean, that's the reason why you know, Jeremy's been talking about how really it was the last straw. It's what broke the fandom, and it really is. I mean, just look at the ratings. Look at all of the YouTube channels. Look at all the people who are just saying these things. People say, oh, yeah, the, all the people on YouTube are just sheep. It's like, no. These are people who feel the same way, and they are supporting people who are actually going out and saying something about it. That is what they are doing. And that is what we're, they're not just following them to saying, oh yeah, I agree. No, they do agree with it. That's the voice that they want, that they have, that it's just being ignored by Lucasfilm, which is why these communities are growing so much. One of it has to do with The Last Jedi and just how bad it was. And then he finished, but it boils down to invalidate the most hated parts of The Last Jedi, damn right. Even if it takes saying things that were dreams or tricks, that's something that Jeremy has suggested. But you know what? If it's what gets everything back on track, I think we'll be willing to take that as a, you know, being narratively lazy in some ways. If it means that we can get back to, you know, making good Star Wars films. Take a movie to get back to the properly resetting the state of the stories and characters. Then provide a satisfying conclusion. Take whatever time is needed for the writing teams to create satisfying fixes and new plots and the longer arcs and plans. Damn right. Disney is motivated to do this because they are expecting Star Wars to deliver billions of dollars every year for merchandise, theme park expansion, movies, games, and other media. This is absolutely right. So once again, this is nextbigfuture.com. Uh, the author is Brian Wang. So please go out and support this article. It, you know, is it perfect? No. Again, is it? Is it? <laughs> does it have some grammar issues? Sure. I mean, that's just again, that's just the state of it. I make <laughs> speaking mistakes all the time. Every single person makes a mistake at some point. But the fact is, this is a much smaller channel. This is a much smaller website that's producing something that has actually spot on commentary on what's going on this is someone who's actually talking about the real issues of what's going on the things that lucasfilm are going to ignore the things that the media are going to ignore and it's nice to finally have that voice so go check out this channel go check out this uh, article again i'm going to post this link the link to this article in the uh, description but what do you guys think do you agree with everything that brian wang says uh do you have anything to add to it please let me know in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate that. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. Also share this video and share the article as well. I always greatly appreciate you guys. I just hit 800 subscribers, so thank y'all so much if you are a subscriber. And if you're not, consider it. We do some really great live streams here. I try and go almost every single night. And we go for sometimes an hour and a half, two and a half hours, and we have a lot of fun. It's a very small community, so I read every single comment. I give everyone the credit that is due, and it's a lot of fun. So please think about doing that. Thank y'all so much for joining. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.